JJ Kinahan, the TD Ameritrade Investor Movement Index was up in October. It was 4.79. I guess that could be expected because the market had a great run in October. The market did have a great run in October, Greg. And uh, what was interesting to me about this index overall in October is that you would think people were just crazy buying everything because the S&P and the Dow are both up over 7%. What's interesting is our clients were actually net sellers for the month. They did expose themselves more to the market because they bought some higher volatility stocks into it. But I thought it was very interesting that people use this run-up as a time to take some profits. And the IMX, the Investor Movement Index, tracks Main Street investors. Do you think things are going to change because we have a Fed rate hike, most assuredly coming. Mm -hmm. You know, 99% uh, people think it's going to come. You think it's going to change the, uh, the sentiment out there? I think it may a little bit in the short term. You know, it, to your point, if you look at when the Fed met uh, early in the month, there was about a 33% probability of a rate rise in October. As of Friday's close, it was a 70% probability. So, uh, you know, obviously we're all skewing that way. Uh, what, what I think may change a little bit is people sometimes overreact into it. You know, you may see a bunch of mortgage applications right before the December meeting and then kind of flatten out. The good thing about that is that's a flat time of year for housing anyways. So when we get to the spring, hopefully things pick back up. The great thing about it is we just had a blowout jobs report. And if we continue with jobs, that gives people a lot more confidence than anything else. All right, let's talk about some of the companies that got bought in October, according to the IMX. One was GoPro, another was Sun Edison. Mm -hmm. So were people doing a little bit of bargain shopping because these things were sold off? I think you hit the nail right on the head, Greg. As some of these stocks got uh, beaten up a little bit, added some volatility to them, people were saying, okay, may maybe they should be participating a little bit more or maybe it's just a little bit overdone. All right, and speaking of bargain shopping, retailers were also uh, net buys for October Walmart, Amazon, Starbucks, people getting ready for Christmas maybe? I think that could be part of it. And, you know, you look at Starbucks, uh, they, they've been on a pretty nice run. I thought the Walmart, Amazon thing was really interesting. Amazon had great e earnings as an online retailer. Walmart said they don't know if they're going to make money, the brick and mortar retailer. So it seems like everybody's sort of setting up for that heavyweight fight at some point down, down the road. All right, on the flip side, let's talk about net sales for October. It was the blue chips, yeah. and it was blue chips that were doing very well, like McDonald's and GE. So what's going on there? I think people, you know, you say those two stocks, they're at near 52-week highs. Uh, McDonald's is an all-time high, actually. GE remains one of our still largest holdings for uh, most people. But I think the retail trader getting a little smarter, saying, hey, you know what? I got a chance to make some money when you're at 52-week or all-time highs might make some sense to take off a little bit of risk there, and people have been using that as an opportunity to do Microsoft so. Microsoft also is a net sell. Yeah, Microsoft and Intel also. So, you know, it, it pretty spread across good companies and the tech companies too. It really didn't matter. If you're near 52-week highs, many clients use it as a time to just unload. All right, well, thanks a lot, JJ. Always a pleasure, Greg. Thanks for having me, buddy. Thank you for watching The Street.